Hey, this is Sean. Recently, my wife recommended that I read The Unteachables by Gordon Corman. I'm not familiar with Gordon Corman or any of his works, but he has been writing for a while and writes books that are mostly geared for younger audiences. One thing I found interesting about the book is the fact that it was written as a narrative, which is not uncommon in itself, but what I found particularly interesting is that each chapter follows a different character uh, perspective throughout the book. After reading the book, I think it would be of particular interest to middle school students since the characters are um, close in age to them. Uh, and they can relate, though I think teachers would enjoy the book as well, whether it be teaching perspective or uh, even new teachers coming into the classroom. Uh, and I definitely enjoyed it as an adult as well. The Unteachable starts by following Kiana Rubini, who is on her way to her first day of school at Greenwich Middle School. By chance, she ends up in the self-contained special 8th grade class, a.k.a. SCS8, nicknamed The Unteachables. The book follows the class of SCS8 and is usually written from the perspective of one of several students in the class or their teacher. Uh, this group of misfits are assigned to SCS8 after their previous teachers essentially just gave up on them and their ability to learn. The class is basically forgotten about by the school as it is hidden away, out of sight, almost basically forgotten about. Uh, it seems the school is perfectly content not even acknowledging them. Their teacher is Mr. Kermit, uh, who is burnt out uh, and just biding time until retirement. Mr. Kermit is shrouded by scandal uh, from many years earlier that he never really seemed to break free from, um, that shadow that holds over him. And in fact, he blames uh, school administrators um, for just how his life has turned out since that scandal. Uh, in fact, school administration had assigned him to SCS-8 uh, in attempts to get him to quit. Uh, of course, this all led to a lackluster view of his job. Uh, he's basically a body in the room and very disconnected with what's going on. The students in class come from a variety of backgrounds, and I think that this would be a draw to several to a variety of people, uh, as there's probably a character that they can relate to. One is going to be an injured jock who is no longer able to skate by uh, because he's not winning championships for the school anymore, so he actually has to study and is not very good at that. Uh, another is a clumsy student who cannot read due to dyslexia. While dyslexia is not a central theme to the book, it does put you in his perspective and was actually kind of eye-opening as far as what people with dyslexia uh, go through and what they see. Um Another student has anger management, uh, while another has a reputation of being a bully. And I chuckled a lot uh, from comments made by another student who basically related everything to science fiction, fantasy, or other genres of books, uh, movies, and that type of thing. Uh, through the story, Mr. Kermit finds different things to start standing up for his students about, uh, different things to start caring about for his students, and he slowly earns the respect of his students. Uh, this leads to some interesting shenanigans throughout the book uh, that they do in honor of him. While he does not approve, uh, he sees a huge change in the students' attitude towards school and towards him and realizes what they are willing to do out of respect for him, uh, which reignites his uh, desire as a teacher as well. Uh, I do not want to give much more away than that, uh, though I would recommend this book to other people to read, uh, especially new teachers like me. And uh, like I said earlier, middle school students as well. Thank you.